Okay, class, uh, good morning. Our topic for today is uh, dead reckoning. Okay, uh, and it, it includes the following international notation, convention for plotting the chart, methods of obtaining a position line or line of position. It's the same. Dead reckoning, danger bearing, running fix, leeway, application of leeway and compass problem, and calculations of directions and rates, including tidal stream table and plotting tides. So for the international notation conventions for plotting in chart, these are the following. Actually, this is what you write. Okay, this is what you write on your chart. The fix, the running fix, estimated position, DR, electronic fix by GPS and electronic fix by radar, LOP, LOP advanced course and speed set and drift. When you say notations, these are your writings okay meaning to say ito yung mga isusulat nyo whether kung ano man siya fix running fix estimated position dr electronic fix by gps radar lop lop advance course and speed set and brief <clears throat> now for the methods of obtaining a position line or lop okay the modern chart shows us positions of main and recognizable aids to navigation like churches lighthouses which facilitate the approach of a coastal area. The concept originated from a chart by Weighainer and proved a milestone development of European cartography. Okay, so ganyan yung itsura niya. You have your compass course, for example, and then there's a, what is what we call a fixed object or a landmark or a reference mark. Then you can take an LOP from that. Take a bearing on this, for example, an oil rig from your using your gyro compass not magnetic, and then take the range. So it can be a double ranges or a double bearings from two objects. So kung two ranges, two reference mark. Kung two bearings, ganun din, two reference marks. Or you can do the both. Uh, it's, it's both compass bearing and compass range. Okay, You can use it by radar or by GPS also. For example, you can see the drawing. If you are navigating in between those two islets or lands, meaning to say you can take two ranges from this or even two bearings from it. Using your ARPA, uh, write it in a, a piece of paper simultaneously and then you plot it on your chart or on your ECDIS, okay? <clears throat> now look on the drawing again. Two LOPs intersect at our position fix. <clears throat> so, kung saan man siya mag-intersect, for example, this drawing is showing you two bearings. Saan man siya mag-intersect, your estimated position or EP will be at the intersection line. If you have taken three objects like this one, meaning there will be a cocked hat. Ulitin ko, cocked hat, meaning sombrero you can write your estimated position at the middle. Just like this one, no? Nagkaroon siya ng cocked hat or square. Sa middle siya kukunin. Okay? And also for this one, dalawa, okay? Uh, kumuha siya ng dalawang observations at the same time sim or simultaneously kung saan yung gitna, yun yung estimated position. Okay? Or EP. So that's how you take the fix, running fix, estimated position. And for the DR position, DR stands for dead reckoning. Okay? DR or dead reckoning is a technique to determine a ship's approximate position by applying to the last established charted position a vector or series of vectors representing true course and speed. Remember that? True course and speed. Meaning this is advancing your position using your true course and speed. Hindi siya actual position but it is unexpected or what we call the dead reckoning position. This means that we, if we have an earlier fix, we plot from that position our course and distance traveled since then and then deduce our current position. Okay. Now, for running fix, what is running fix? Under some circumstances, such as low visibility, only one line of position can be obtained at a time. In this event, a line of position obtained at an earlier time may be advanced to the time of the later LOP. I-advance mo lang siya, pero it's copying. 
copying from your initial LOP. This LOP should be parallel to each other. Remember that the optimal angular spread is 90 degrees. Optimal meaning maximum spread. Okay, maximum spread will be a beam on your beam up to forward, whether it's port or starboard. The, ob the position obtained is termed a running fix because the ship has a run and a certain distance during the time interval between two LOPs. <clears throat> okay, now let's talk about danger bearing. Like the DR positioning, the danger bearing is important tool to keep the ship out of harm's way. Navigator identifies the limits of safe navigable water and determines a bearing, for instance, a major light. This bearing is marked not more than, hindi no more than, ha? not more than or not less than. Uh, cadets, uh, gentlemen and ladies, no? sa, kanan, sa kanan mo, kapag gumawa ka ng danger bearing, it will be not what? Not less than. Okay? It will be not less than sa kanan. Kapag sa kaliwa, ang imamark mo doon ay not more than. Okay? Not more than. Tandaan nyo yun ha? Baka magkamali kayo. Sa kanan, it is not less than. So ito yung pagmamark. Pagmamark mo ng NMT tsaka NLT. Ang tawag doon ay danger bearing. For the turn bearing, turn bearing like the danger bearing is constructed in the chart in advance. It should be used as a means of anticipation for sailing out of safe waters. Again, like the danger bearing and DR. The turn bearing is taken on appropriate aid to navigation. It is marked TB or Tango Bravo. As we pass the object, its bearing will slowly change when it reaches the turn bearing turn the vessel on her new course okay <clears throat> this type of bearing is also used for selecting an anchorage position or diving position uh, kapag veterano ka na or magaling ka na magmaneuvra ng barko turn bearing is not applicable because you already have your uh, electronic bearing line or the EBL okay turn bearing sa mga paper chart lang to now let's go to position position line. What are various methods of obtaining a PL or position line? We have visual, by visual, by transit bearing, by bearing and range. Okay, it's a combination of bearing and range or bearings plural and ranges. Meaning you can do two bearings or you can do two ranges. A circle of position obtained from a vertical sextant angle, meaning using a sextant. You call this celestial LOP. A circle of, say, of, of position obtained from a horizontal sextant angle. Again, using sextant. And an observation of celestial body giving the position line. So celestial LOPs, all with a LOPs. You will learn that in your celestial navigation. Where, uh, whereas the sextant or the celestial LOPs can only be taken in open waters, not in confined or pilotage waters. Since uh, you can take you can take visual transit bearings and bearings and ranges from radar when you are in confined and pilotage waters. Okay, syempre, hindi necessary kasi mahaba ang computation. Uh, the computation for celestial LOPs is quite long. It is doable. But it's quite long. Okay, if you take an LOP, it will take you long time. Uh, just with the observation itself, uh, using a sextant, it will take you five or ten minutes. With that, it's not applicable. Better by visual transit and bring in ranges. <clears throat> there are several types of position line. What are those? Compass bearing, transit, leading line, leading lights, and sector lights. What are those compass bearings? The angle between the north and the line passing through the compass and the point of intersect. Transit is a line passing through the observer and, and to other reference points. Leading line is the line passing through to marks indicating a safe channel. Leading lights is the line passing through to beacons indicating a safe channel. And sector lights, the lines created by mass colored lights that indicate a safe channel. Okay. 
So there are various ways of obtaining position line and position circles. It includes the following, raising and dipping and landmarks, vertical sextant angles, horizontal sextant angles, compass bearings, relative bearings, ra radar bearings, transit bearings, radar range, leading lights, light sectors, depth contours, and celestial navigation. Example of what I have been talking about are is the following. Look on the picture. Okay. It's an advanced LOP. Let me maximize. There you go. So advanced LOP, okay? Meaning you are advancing an LOP uh, from an observation of the sun. So for example, you have taken LOP at 0900. You will transfer it after a few hours given with your speed five knots in five hours, that is 25 miles. So from point here up to here, it is 25 miles, advance another LOP, and then take another observation or LOP2, it's a colored green at 1400, you will be able to determine your estimated position. Remember, ang resultant ng ginagawa mo na LOP, meaning ang LOPs or LOP, can, kung isang LOP lang, it can never be an estimated position. Two or more, tulad nito, is an estimated position. Kung saan siya nag-intersect, you call it estimated position. So there you go again. The R means determining your current position by projecting your course over the ground and speed from a previous position. No? Na-explain na, na ko na to kanina. So let's uh, move on. Assume position or alpha, papa, or assume position mostly kung ano ang latitude and longitude, you just round it off. Okay, whenever you are in ocean waters, i-round off mo lang. For example, 36 degrees, 45.6 minutes north, i-round off mo lang, that will be 37 degrees north. Ganun din sa longitude. And to take LOPs from two objects kung saan lang siya nag-intersect, that will be your estimated or assumed position. Kung tatlo naman or apat tulad nito, okay, ganun din. Estimated will be in the middle. You are probably asking, uh, sir, kung may GPS na, na lesser ang error nito, why do we have to take DR or LOP or estimated position? Why? It's to counter check if the GPS is right. Kung maliit lang yung error niya, like for example, few meters or what, uh, meaning to say, walang error yung GPS natin. No? There are cases or situations na nasisira ang GPS 